all right welcome we're gonna do the laguna blast we're gonna show you how it's done we're gonna do it live in order to really kind of demonstrate that it is entirely possible and can be can be done uh, the thing about it is you need to absolutely optimize your route there is no margin for error um, there's basically two components to the to the, this challenge um, there's the points that you get from the time that you do it and the points that you get from the explosion now there's something wrong with the explosion you only seem to be able to get a maximum of about 800 850 points at least on a consistent basis I have randomly one time got like I'm sure like way over a thousand points and that's why I've got my PB up at um, what 19,665 which is just an insane score but already I'm going really slowly because I've had to take a wide angle going around that vehicle we're trying to take some ramps here and I've missed the second ramp we've got the third I'm actually going okay pace we're on pace for about 8,150 points on the time factor are we going to get anything on the explosion? Boom! We actually got a really, really good result there, all things considered. But as you can see, not enough points. What are we going to do about this? As you can see, the completion time, 18,086. It's not enough. We need to get 18,200 and hope for a damage of around about 800 in order to pass this. Now the best way to get 18,200 time is to optimise your route, as I said before. We're looking for three major jumps and we're looking for absolutely no hesitation on the acceleration. We're going to hold this accelerator down the entire time. We're not going to touch anything. No people, no fence posts, no vehicles. We're going to try and avoid taking that wide turn there, but there's nothing we could do to avoid the vehicle. Good ramp. We need to take a bit of a turn here to go another ramp, and then this, boom, off onto the beach. Now, that was quite good timing. We lost a little bit of speed on the landing, and we need to go off the rock, remember? We're going to jump out early to lose a little bit of speed. And boom, we got amazing points that time, but we were slow. And we were mainly slow because we had to take that wide angle around the traffic. And the, the jump, the final jump, was a little bit on the slow side because it killed some of our speed. Third time lucky. What do you guys think? I think we're going to do it. So, once again, no hesitation on the acceleration. We're going to hope for some good traffic this time. Oh, God, that was awful. Now, I have done this a number of times. Um, I tried it, um, what was it, yesterday or the day before, just to get a little bit of practice in. It took me about 20 attempts before I actually managed to get it. And then I got it like three times in a row. So... Like, it's one of those like horrible, horrible challenges. It is really brutal. Look, absolutely brutal. Like, it's just killing me. What are you going to do about someone like that? Got a good ramp. We're a little bit slow. Can we get some speed on the beach? No. We're, oh, this is awful. This is awful. We're under 18,000 pace. and a shitty explosion. I think the only thing that we're doing here is we're demonstrating how hard this is and how brutal it really is. We're looking for 18,200 on the completion time and an 800 point explosion or blast. That's the most consistent way of doing this challenge and optimizing your route. Um, I would suggest following the route I'm taking, unless somebody wants to experiment and find a better one. I have messed around and I can't seem to find a better one. You want to steer as little as possible as I steer around the traffic of people running across the road. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this! Oh, holy shit, that was close. 
Oh, we're actually not too bad. We're a good time on the beach. What you want to be doing is you want to be flying on the beach. Uh, and... Um, landing. Probably about eight... Uh, 19,300 points is probably the best pace. What do I mean by that? Um, when you take off into the air and jump into the air, you actually have a momentary pause of the time. So if you can get some big ramps and some big air, the timer countdown has a momentary pause. And that allows the, the points that you're losing, that you're leaking, to, to, to momentarily not leak. This is the one. See, we're hugging the corners. We're taking a direct line. We're going to get a nice ramp here. Boom. We're turning. We're getting another one. Yes, this is good. We're fast. We're on pace. We need to get a good exit. Good explosion. Boom. And we've got an awesome, awesome points total now. 19,117. And the completion time sort of done it. The damage dealt was only 800 points, but the completion time, we were over that 18,200 threshold mark, which I think is really, really the best that you can kind of do to to optimize this route and uh, complete the Laguna Blast, getting five gears. How long did this take? How long is it going to take you? Good luck, guys. See you next time. Cheers.